Hey guys and welcome to an extract guide for Shoreline. This is going to be showing all the extracts, PMC and scav extracts in one go. They will be fast forwarding during the points of, you know, no extracts. But guys, so we are going to start with Road to Customs. This is a PMC and a scav extract and this extract is always open. So this is the extract over here. We're next to the radar tower, like the cell phone tower. If you head right, so the wall is on your left side, which is, that's the outside wall. You follow it and you'll get to the, to a red giant gate. There is definitely a few scavs around here, so just be careful. They are quite the sharpshooters. They do like to hide down in this brush down here and, and as well over here and travel the entire way down this road. But this is the extract right here. You can, in my opinion, the safest X side of it because of the um, scabs. When I come, I come and sit here. This is where I extract. But you can also extract the entire way around in this direction. And you can also tuck yourself in here if you want to avoid, you know, the PMCs if you'll get extract camped. This X, most extracts on Shoreline aren't really camped. Um, there will be one later on, which is Rock Passage. That one is camped quite a wee bit. But apart from that, I've never been extract camped at this location. The next location we're going to be hitting up is CCP Temporary. This is a PMC only extract. This is down this road from um, Road to Customs. I will fast forward it, but it is a PMC only extract. Okay, so now slowly arriving at this extract, just to bear in mind, these signs here means there's mines. There's mines in this entire section here, as well as a section over in that direction. So just be careful if you are here, they, you will get tapped, so you get hit once, and then if you get hit again, you die instantly. So just bear that in mind. And it's also very loud, but if you want it to die safe without anyone taking your gear, that's just kind of a safe spot. So, this is the extract right here, this spot here. If the extract is up, because it's one of those extracts that are RNG, this light will be on. If this light is on, then the extract is up. Just a heads up about this light, you can see this light all the way down at the gas station. This light travels so far, so if you are along this road that runs along the coast, so this is the coast of Tarkov, it will run the entire way. You can you can see the light all the way down from gas station. But that is called CCP temporary. The next, and that's a PMC only extract. It's not single use and it is RNG. The next extract we are going to be going to hit up is Pier Boat. So once again, it is a long run. We need to go all the way down to the gas station. So Bear me two seconds. Okay, doke. So we are finally at gas station. This is gas station on the right hand side. What we're going to need to do is turn around and head down the pier. So this is just a little outcropping. There are a few keys dotted around here, by the way. Right, there's a key in the back of this truck that has a chance of spawning but anyway so if you head down in this direction so we're heading off the offshoot you got this building over here to the left just bear in mind this extract is completely open and it's 100% RNG so we basically need to go to this spot here and this extract is called pier boat once again it's a PMC only extract and it's 100% RNG back in the olden days this light used to flash red when the extract would actually be up but it's not up sometimes that that light doesn't flash on and off there's no way of telling if this extract is up sometimes the boat appears here sometimes it doesn't but as you saw the boat is here and the extract is not up so that light used to yeah that light used to actually glow back in the day but it doesn't anymore 
the extract timer as well is also really long i think it's 30 seconds or 45 seconds which is a lot longer than the normal 10 second extract timer the next location we're going to be hitting up is lighthouse this is a scav only extract which is this small little building here i don't believe this is actually a lighthouse this is just a tower i guess I, there's no light here so i don't know maybe it's under construction god knows anyway so this is the extract right here what you need to do is basically head into the building and this is the extract so you can easily sit around here and extract nice easy and safe in my opinion extract i mean i believe bullets can actually go through that corrugated and just be careful okay maybe it's not safe because you have this entire shoreline where people can see you and you know this map is called shoreline so a lot of people come down this direction <laughs> so yeah just bear that in mind one of the i'll show you a few key camping spots is this area over here and the blue fence not that i've ever seen anyone camp the blue fence and it's basically if there's shots down here people do make their way down here shoreline is full of quite aggressive players it's it's kind of how can i say like like an end game map a lot of your final tasks are here so you're going to be meeting a lot of chads or thick boys or whatever you like to call them they like to hunt around resort and then if resort is dead then they make to they like to make their way down in this direction to come and say hi to your face with their bullets so we are now going to head up to resort so it's going to be a wee bit of a run once again but i will see you guys in a second so we are here at resort this is the chopper this is the west building and east building so to start off we actually need to go into the east building which is the right building or the building with the blue keys so if you're entering through the front like how we are what you need to do is follow it round to the left and then follow it round to the right and this extract is called right wing gym entrance which is this extract here this is a scav only extract so just bear that in mind once again this is a scav only extract you do need to be really careful at this location only because this is a highly trafficked location you're right in the thick of it there's always thick boys around here so just be careful now the next location we're going to be popping over to is admin basement so this building in the middle people call it cinema it's actually called the admin building mainly because you got all the pcs and all that kind of stuff so if you're going to be entering through the main entrance what you're going to do is go down the right hand side or left hand side of the stairs onto this great thing and then continuing down to the right hand side this is the extract right here once again this is a high traffic location it's not as dangerous as the last one but you do need to be careful as there are one two three four and five ways down to this location so you definitely need to be careful that you're not going to be you know surprised the next location we are going to be hitting up is rock passage this is a pmc only extract which is out the back of admin so once again that's the west building admin and east is on that side when you had head out of the back building you have got these wonderful statues you got one of a wolf yeah that's a wolf that's cool and then you got a bear and a fox if you follow it to the right hand side you've then got a wolf again and then you follow it to the left of the wolf and you can see the dome which is actually in reserve but you know if you basically head directly to the dome you're going to be coming up to a extract this one is rng so sometimes it might be up sometimes i might not be up so in this case it isn't actually up if this extract was up there will be green flares here so basically green smoke trailing up you can actually see it from the roof of the east building so if you want to see if this extracts up and you're still inside the building 
if you head to the east building you can see it clear as day over in this direction just something to be careful of this extract does actually get camped quite a bit if it's up if they camp usually it's up on this ridge to the right near the power line they like to sit up here and wait for you of course make sure you keep your eye on your bushes and the worst thing about it is sniper scavs in this game are bloody aim bars, right and there's a sniper scav that likes to chill up here so just be careful when you come into this extract because he can see you no matter where you go unless you sit behind this rock is which what i do just to line aside him if you don't want to give away your position so guys remember be careful of the extract campers to the left and of course the sniper scav to the right the next location we're going to be hitting up is south fence passage now this one is going to be a bit hard to explain how to get to only because it's kind of like out of the way um there isn't really any way of showing it apart from actually i just thought of a way so admin building is this one here once again you come out of admin building past the wolf past the bear and the fox and then the wolf again if you go to the right of the wolf run over this ridge you see these power lines here what you need to do is basically follow these power lines i will fast forward it but forward these power lines full follow these power lines all the way until you reach the fence i will fast forward it until we get there okay so we're following the power lines and we're actually at the last one now so you might know this spawn if you play this map quite a bit this is actually a extract no in a um not an extract a spawn so you actually spawn here and then you head directly that way to resort so this extract here is south fence passage i kind of don't understand why this is south fence passage because actually the north side of the map but anyway right over here is the extract directly this is a scav only extract so just bear that in mind once again i don't know why it's called south fence passage because this is actually the north side of the map but you yeah, know okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna head back to resort and then we're gonna need to go all the way down to downtown slash the village it is quite a run so i will skip me going to the resort but then i'm gonna fast forward it from the resort to downtown okay so we are just passing the town right now the extract we're going to be hitting up is ruined house fence which is just located behind the governor's house or chairman's house basically the rich man's house the one house in this entire swamp that isn't destroyed so obviously the best way to see this is you have swamp right here if you go to the non-destroyed house head directly behind this house you can see just over the fence or the out the outside wall that there is a wrecked house and just to the right of that wrecked house you have this tree tree right here and behind that tree you have a fence that's kind of fallen backwards a bit this is the extract ruined a house fence and this is a scav only extract now following this wall up we're gonna go to the see Savet Lee dead end Savet Lee that's the best I got a uh, dead end which is just up here so we are arriving back into the town again so in the town there's a t-junction and down the end of one of the t-junctions you see it is this trailer this is a scav only extract and the extract is right here again it's savinely to savly it's a s v e l i 
Y extract. I, I, Civetli. Civetli dead end. I, I think I think I got it there. Civetli dead end. There's a T in there somewhere. So the next location we're going to be hitting up is Tunnel. Tunnel is a PMC only extract, but it does actually overlap with a scav extract. So Tunnel is a extract that is always up no matter what. I will show you the grabbing area. So this is also a spawn. There's I think three spawns that are right next to this um, extract. This is an extract that you need to be very careful of as there can be a few exit campers. So I'm just going to go on top of this hill and point out where they usually are or have been for me. They like to sit up here. This is a very common spot for extract campers as well as this. Where's the bush gone? Uh, I think it's this one. This bush right here is a very common spot as well because you have the full view of the extract right here. So you basically just need to be extremely careful when approaching this extract. So the extract is actually by this fire truck. It's this entire area. So basically from where this pole is the entire way like this around here and including down here to the left hand side as well. This is also ruined road extract with a scav only extract which is just this tiny bit of road right here. I'm not on a scav, I'm on a PMC, but you can see that the extract does pop up for me. Out of both of these extracts, this left one is the safest. You can sit behind this rock, crouch down like this, and be safe and not get a chance of getting headshot if someone is over here. If you are a bit worried about someone exit camping, if I was you, the way that you could push up is what I do is just stick as far left as you can. Yes, of course, if they're going to be extract camping, they are going to get you unless you are extremely on top of this. Guys, I know this guide was extremely long. I am very sorry about that. But the, the, this shoreline is such a large map, it takes a while to cover it, basically. Guys, hopefully you found this guide useful, and I'll see you in the next video.